Hello everybody. This should be, fate's willing and lack of sheep on the rails, an attempt to earn the achievement for um, riding more than a kilometer in a, by minecart from where you started. Uh, assuming my math is correct and as I said there's no sheep or anything on the rail. So here we go. Let's see how long this takes. This was a, this is being done on a server that my brother hosts. Um, to narrate the kind of things you see along the way. This is the kind of sky house built by one of the players, my nephew, with some nice uh, views over some, over some exposed caves. The route planning here took a little bit of time and we had to negotiate with a couple with a bunch of players to make sure we were, that they were okay with us connecting the rail line to their various hideouts or hidey holes or fortresses or what have you. Um, really, everybody was kind of okay with it, but I've been a student of city planning for too long to try to run a large rail line or any kind of transportation project by people who may be somewhat secretive. So thankfully they all said yes. So thanks everybody. Um, coming up here, this the, the line starts with a detour around this massive mountain here that uh, was best done this way. Um, we have my my tower coming up here, the my brother's uh, abandoned fortress there, and our, our farm plaza cutting underneath my son's house. And there's my brother's uh, leg, as uh, my son calls it. Then we come down here, shoot across the uh, simple little bridge and into this vast desert that surrounds the spawn point. Um, so this is may not be the, the most compelling visuals here, but it's um, something, to, something to enjoy crossing and something to be glad that you're not living in the middle of. Um, thankfully, there are these interesting elements scattered throughout, like the uh, village that's coming up here. Um, assuming this achievement works and the rail line proves popular. We have plans to build some stations at various points along the line. Um, I would love to try to get that village more you know, repopulated at some point, but unfortunately all the villagers died as we were building it. I spent some, a few too many nights underground close enough that the villagers were killed by zombies, so sorry guys. Um, we also have a ever popular desert, tem desert temple here, um, and the a very, very long tunnel through a sand mountain. I thought about trying to go go around this one as well, but because it was only sand, it seemed more efficient to just punch straight through it. Um, uh, we'll see. I have plans for what to do with that tunnel eventually, but now we're wrapping around. Uh, looks like I have some points of, points of slowness here that I need to take care of, but we're, wrap, we're following this river through the desert to the spawn point, which is coming up here. This is going to be the spawn station. You can see a little hut back there, which is the spawn, the starting point for new players. And then we continue off west to um, my friend Jamie's place, uh, Shea Puba. So this is going to um, meander around, and we'll be curious to see exactly what happens here. This is a part of the line that he built, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. It looks like it's all nice and smooth. And if my math is correct, we should be passing the one kilometer mark right as we pull into the station that he's built. Um, he's blocked himself. Ah, oh, there's the mi there's my other minecart. We'll see if this is going to work. Um, he's built himself an, a nice little getaway here that's part of the... Uh, in, in this acacia forest. So... We will see. I'm not. I'm hadn't. Wasn't sure where that is. There we go. Achievement get on a rail. Yay! Second minecart, um, notwithstanding. So here we go. And whoa! I don't necessarily want to stop this. So anyway. So there we go. That was our. Uh, that took what about half the day. It was right around morning when we started this. So there we go. Uh, hope you enjoyed following along and didn't get too much whiplash.